I'm sorry, Your Honor. I have no idea what she's talking about. I am talking about the children's stepfather. Blair's husband. Her husband? Hmm. Who the hell is her husband? That'd be me. I'm Blair's husband, Your Honor. <laughs> the kid's stepfather. <laughs> no way in hell did she marry you. We forgot to throw rice yesterday. <laughs> Mama, there's no need for that. Every bride and groom needs a little good luck. Why should Mr. and Mrs. John McBain be any different? <laughs> uh, Marnie. Hi. I was released from St. Anne's. I... Did you get the letter that I sent you? I... Okay. I, I just wanted you to know that, um... I wasn't myself last summer, literally. Um, I have DID, it's just so soon. I know. I, okay, um, well, my altar, Tess, she was out the entire time that you were at Todd's. It wasn't me. I never would have let the man that raped you hold you captive. What is it? Is it Shane? No, he's okay. For now. I just... Okay, come on, let me get you inside. It's weird having a girl's bone marrow. I mean, I'm not gonna start singing High School Musical all day, right? This lady, my donor, I wish I knew what she looked like. How's my nephew? Okay, so what's going on? We found a bone marrow donut. So what are you crying for? That's great. Yeah, we got all excited. Shane was over the moon. But then the donor, she found out she was pregnant, so she can't have the procedure. Or at least not until after the baby. And Shane, he may not have that long. Hey, Aunt Stacy. I haven't seen you since I got sick. Better late than never, right? So how you feeling? Oh, I love your do. Yeah, me and Dad. <laughs> Cue balls. Mm. But not for too long. This lady in Australia, she's giving me her bone marrow. Then I'm out of here. Cool. Well, we better let you take a nap. You're tired. Chrome Dome. Whatever you say, egghead. If there was one match, there's there's bound to be another. Yeah, there is someone else. Who? So Shane's gonna be okay. I don't know what you were trying to pull yesterday with the whole I love my sister, let's try to be a family routine, but I don't buy it, and I don't want you here. Would it help if I told you that it was my fault? What? You admit you drugged me? I'm a married woman. So you keep saying, where is this lucky man of yours? He's in LA, pursuing his other passion. Yeah. If I was your husband, you would be my only passion. Exhibit A, Your Honor, marriage license. Exhibit B, a marriage certificate signed by an ordained minister. And I have witnesses, Your Honor. I myself was present, as was Mr. Manning's daughter, Stark. Lovely ceremony, wasn't it? The best. Your Honor, Miss Manning only was recently recovering from a medically induced coma. It's Mrs. McBain, Your Honor. She was in no position to make uh, life-altering decisions. The, 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 the potential for abuse, for coercion. Exhibit C, a sworn statement signed by two psychiatrists attesting to Blair's sound state of mind. The documents appear to be in order. The marriage apparently took place yesterday in Mrs. McBain's hospital. 
Which makes one wonder, Your Honor, why the rush? The timing is suspect. You and I have crossed paths before, Mr. McBain. As I recall, you had lost faith in the system and had decided to take matters into your own hands. Is this hasty marriage another attempt to circumvent justice? Are you and Blair Manning McBain conspiring to deny her ex-husband custody of his children? John only married me so I could keep the kids. There's more to it than that. No, we had a good run. And we cared about each other. I mean, we still care about each other, but the point is just for me to get strong, get back home so I can take care of the kids. John is still in love with Marty Saybrook. I, I did get your letter. Um, I apologize for not responding. It wasn't really myself either. I heard about Cole. Marty, I know you don't remember who I am, but we used to be really good friends, and I, I just hope that... I miss my girlfriend. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's lonely out there. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but, um... But you're not alone. I, I know that. I know that it feels that way sometimes. I, I mean, I, I feel as if I have Saint Anne's stamps on my forehead. I smile at people, and they just walk away. That's their loss. Um, you asked about Cole. Thank you. He uh, actually finally caught a break. He's in drug rehab right now instead of prison. Yeah, Nora offered him a plea at the eleventh hour. So she's forgiven him? Well, she blames me for what happened to Matthew, and she's not wrong. Well, give her time. I, you know, if you can put up with me for not remembering you or our friendship, I can certainly, certainly forgive you for leaving me there at Todd's. I mean, God knows I wouldn't have listened to you anyway. You know, I. I didn't even believe John when he was telling me what Todd was. Is this marriage real, Mr. McBain? Your Honor, we've been seeing each other for almost a year. To which any number of people can attest, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor, that Mr. McBain and Ms. Manning are acquainted is immaterial. The question is, why did they marry, and why now, if not to defraud my client? Counsel has a point, Mr. McBain. Do you love your wife? drug you, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't my fault. I mean, how was I supposed to know you were such a lightweight? Lightweight? Who are you? Okay, okay, so you were dehydrated from working out at the gym, and I forced you to drink a couple beers, and you got a little sloppy, and maybe I sent you a few mixed signals, okay? Maybe. Look, I was working in Vegas. I was paid a lot of money to flirt. It's what I did. And I was having fun, and I thought you were too. Like, it's not my first time. It's not going to be my last, either. Trust me, it's never going to happen again. Oh, right, I forgot. Rex and Gigi forever. Just so we're clear, once Shane is better, I'm going to find out what happened to the results of that test I took after our little party. Just because you got caught up doesn't mean you don't care about my sister. It just means you're human, okay? I didn't get caught up. Right. Because who'd want anything to do with me, huh? Stacy. <clears throat> I'm committed to your sister. End of story. I gotta call Gigi. So who is it? Who's the other donor? If there's somebody out there... My the sister. Stacy. So that's good news, right? <laughs> if she'd do it. What do you mean? <laughs> she won't donate. What? <laughs> who is it? It's Rex. I can't talk to him, not till I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Gigi, what is going on? Shane is dying and my sister won't save him. Or she will. Oh, she'll donate. Yeah, but only if I agree to give up Rex. Hello? Oh, hi, David. No, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm calm. I've never been calmer in my life. 